today is going to be sick because we're going to start off the day stand up paddling under the Haleiwa Bridge and up the river. All right, boys and girls, make sure you always nicely ask your neighbors before you take their coconuts. I thought I should sort of chime in and talk about how much I love coconuts and why they're in this video, because coconuts are just like my thing, I feel like. <laughs> hey, well that's one coconut. Whenever I'm driving around town or by my house, I just okay? look around at the different coconut trees and see which trees <laughs> they're blooming and I'm kind of obsessed with coconuts at the moment and I don't really have them very often. It's really weird because I go to the mainland and coconuts will be cheaper in the mainland than they are in Hawaii. and. They don't grow coconuts in the mainland, so I don't understand that at all. But anyways, I don't really buy coconuts here. I usually just try to find them. <laughs> anyways, I guess that's enough about coconuts. Skating this bowl was really, really hard. And not like a normal bowl is hard to skate, but like when you do a kick turn, your nose scratches the ground kind of thing. And it was, it was sick. It was really sick. I'm not used to skating stuff like that. I pretty much stick to like really smooth transition and skating something that hard and like raw was was just a totally totally new thing we're gonna take a brief break from talking about this pool and i'm gonna take a second to talk about this awesome salt lamp i just got this right here is a himalayan salt lamp so a lot of people get Himalayan salt shakers. So it's actual salt. Like when I first got this in the mail, I licked it. It actually is salt. It's a salt crystal. And you put a light bulb inside. And so it's like a lamp. Um, it lights up your whole room. And there are actually a lot of health benefits with having this lamp in your room. It has to do with like like the energy it brings you or something like that. 
Maybe I'll look it up. If there's one thing I have to say about this bowl, it is that Noah absolutely shreds this bowl. I do not even understand how he did what he did in this bowl. Check it out. We're gonna replay this in slow motion and really break it down. First, pay attention to the amount of speed he needs for this. He just carves around this pocket past the light and comes out with an insane, insane amount of speed. Straight at these stairs that take up the entire pocket. There isn't even enough room for a board above the stairs. And that wall is practically a wall, right? It's so steep. And he just makes it out and slides out at the bottom, but still, that is so insane. This isn't an ad. I'm not sponsored by salt. That would be really cool, but. Yeah, it's like pure salt and there's actually a lot of dirt in it as well. So maybe I shouldn't lick it anymore. Anyways, it's really beautiful. It just, it feels like it has a lot of energy coming off of it. I love really I don't know, like stuff like this that is just harnessing the energy of the earth. It sounds really like hippy dippy stuff, but it's really fun to play around with. Back to this bowl, I was trying to do an invert in it somehow and I usually do tuck the inverts so I grab on the toe side of my board but for some reason this pocket was so tight that I just couldn't even grab the toe side of my board so I had to try to do an and direct and I couldn't even get my hand on the coping to be honest like it was so steep so early in the transition that it was just so hard to ride up like this vertical face and wait until I got to the coping. That and I probably didn't have enough speed, but I could not even get close to it. I tried it for so long, probably like, probably over an hour and still didn't really come very close. Skating in this pool gave me a totally new understanding for backyard pools backyard spots because you know I thought people just didn't wear pads in this kind of terrain just to be cool and I mean maybe they do but it would be impossible to slide on your knees in this pool because first of all the wall is straight up and down you would end up just falling straight to flat on your knees and that would be pointless anyways but the ground is pretty rough too and I'm pretty sure this is a standard pool just like regular plaster the ground is just too rough to even slide on so there really is no point in wearing pads in a pool like this like you're pretty much running out of everything no matter what which is pretty interesting because it kind of felt like I was doing parkour or something like more acrobatics than skateboarding trying to like get out of a weird positioning in this invert. Just skating this bowl felt like a parkour session. When you touch this, you actually get like salt on your hands. Like my hands feel like salty. Kind of like how it feels when you get out of the ocean. It's really kind of nuts. I heard like in Hawaii since it's so humid you like want to keep this as dry as you can because it'll start to like disintegrate because all the water in the air it'll like break it down so I'm gonna keep this super dry. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I would really appreciate any comments or feedback. 
I've been trying to do these longer videos and I'm actually planning to upload videos every other day. So you can expect to see another video the day after tomorrow, which just happens to be Christmas. It's going to be a pretty fun video. But anyways, I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, I'm pretty new to YouTube and I'd love to make my videos better and I plan to make a ton more videos. So have a great happy holidays and I'll see you on Christmas Day.